Hi Gemini, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your weekly general reading from December 27th until December 3rd, 2017. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading and that if you would like a private reading, all the information is down below in the description box. I also would truly love to thank you all. I was overwhelmed by the, the support and the love and all the subscribes. Um, the, the amount of views for Gemini was amazing. I, I, I talked about it on Facebook. I, I love you guys. You guys are great. You're my best friend. Mark is a Gemini. Um, you guys are just awesome. It was well over 900 views for last week's Gemini reading. Um, one of the best viewing I have put up so far. And I cannot say thank you enough for all the support that you guys have shown me. And I really, truly appreciate it. So with that said, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I like to get started. So let's get started. You guys rock. Okay. Uh, you have quite an interesting uh, spread here. You're very spunky. Someone is truly, truly in love uh, for this coming week. Um, you start off with the magician. The magician is a, um, a major arcana, meaning that it's a major message that needs to be known. Uh, the magician is known as the, uh, you manifest your own thoughts. I feel that you have been preparing yourself uh, for a brighter future, that with your thoughts comes creation kind of thing. Uh, I feel that this is, um, I realize this is um, a water sign. So this is a people card. So you could be dealing with a water sign. But I feel with the overall energy of this reading is that someone is truly in love with someone out there because right next to that is the Page of Cups. And I feel that, Gemini, you want to offer your love to someone, definitely. Yeah. And I'm also getting the feeling of uh, Pisces. I keep seeing fish. So Pisces is the fish. So yeah, that, that could mean something. This is a general reading. But I feel that the overall feeling is, is that you are totally in love with someone and that you want to offer this cup of love to them, definitely. I feel that it's almost kind of like a sneak attack that they don't know that it's going to hit them because right underneath the cup, the page of cups is the tower card. Now the tower card is a major arcana, so it does mean something, you know, a little extra than the rest. Uh, a lot of people think that it's like a shake up kind of destruction mode, but according to this uh, reading, I really feel that it's going to rock the world of someone that you are, because right, it is right below this page. There is going to be a message that you are going to prove be providing for some to someone in regards to love and I don't really I feel like they're not really uh, prepared for it to hear it like it's going to come out of the blue kind of feeling and it's going to like um kind of shake up their world kind of thing because I did clarify the tower card and you have the three of wands now the wands the three of wands is known for looking out to the future this is this is um the feeling that I'm getting with this spread is that you want to come in and offer your cup of love to someone it, it, something that you have been manifesting in your mind for a very long time, um, I feel, and that you want to change things in your life, that you want to offer them this future of love, of abundance, of, of just like this bright, bright future. You see how yellow it is and how beautiful the sky is? This is what you're looking out towards. This person completes you, I feel. This is all being divinely guided. This too popped out with the clarification of the tower. So this is being divinely guided. It is meant to be. This is the Hierophant. This is a very spiritual being. It is the universe, okay? I feel that the person that you want to offer your cup of love is to um, the Empress popped out, okay? The Empress is known as an older female, so it may be someone like that. It is also um, a spiritual being as well. She is in her little cart here, sitting here. I feel that you want to offer this love to someone and to move on with this person, okay? This person is also known for like a motherly figure, like grounded and um, nurturing. Uh, she completes you kind of thing. She's there for you. She listens to you. She helps you through rough times. She's like a best friend almost feeling. But this person is definitely part of your life that you want to offer your cup of love to. Okay. So next to the Empress, you have the Seven of Swords. Swords are mental energy. And it's it's kind of ironic because you're looking back at these two swords here. So you're you're to me, this card means that with your thoughts that you've been thinking about 
somebody from your past. You're looking towards your past, but you want to walk towards your future, but you're thinking of them. I feel that with this manifesting, this thinking of your thoughts of these two swords, this energy of your thoughts, you've been manifesting to offer this, to be able to offer, to plan out is what I just heard, to be able to look back towards the past and go for it kind of thing. With the energy of your mind, you are determined to do this. It's taking a very long time. You have the Knight of Swords here. This is your energy, Gemini. You could be dealing also with a, another air sign, which would be another Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. But I feel overall this is your energy. You are charging towards your past, okay? You are going to speak the truth. You're ready. You are so ready. Like you are ready, like eager. You're running as fast as you can. You see how the horse looks like the horse is going to kill over kind of thing. It, he's just like he can't take a breath. It's just being totally full steam ahead kind of thing. And I'm determined to get that truth out to this person who I truly love. And I think because of this Knight of Swords uh, coming charging forward is another reason why I feel that this tower moment of not knowing what's um, what's going to hit them kind of feeling, okay? Because you are feeling very confident. You are being a grounded kind of feeling. You, um, with this King of Pentacles here, you have your pentacle here. You're pretty confident in getting what you want. You've been manifesting and you've been manifesting for a very, very long time because this is the hangman. The hangman is the limbo card. It's the standstill. It's the waiting game. And you've been waiting for this opportunity to happen. And now I feel like you have your one pentacle here and you're ready. Like you are eager. If you take notice to his face, he has this look of confidence. And that's what I feel. You are determined to get out there, to rush back. He's running back towards his past. This guy is going towards his future, but he's looking at his past. He's been thinking, he's been planning, he's been manifesting, okay? He's ready. He's ready to go for what he wants, is what I'm feeling. The hanging part, the hangman part, is right above or right below the empress. So I feel that this person who you desire, okay, who, who, who nurtures you, who is there for you, who is like your best friend to you, it's been taking a long time in order. This is the person from the past, I feel, okay, that you desire because it's right next to this cup of love. And I feel that this is the person that you want to move on. She's in her car, kind of like her chair kind of thing. She wants to move on. And I feel that you are offering this cup of love in order to move on, okay, to have this, the, these thoughts of preparing, looking out to the future. You're going to be offering this future uh, speaking your truth with the sword here, rushing and speaking the truth, saying how you feel feeling and that you are going to proclaim what you want in your future. And it is, it is with this person, with this person who makes you happy, who makes you feel uh, loved and um, nurtured. And um, I, I see like, I, I they just showed me someone giving a great big hug. That, that, that warm feeling of love kind of feeling with that hug okay wow that was strong okay so yes with the hanging man here it's taken a lot of strength i can't remember what i said about the strength card if i said anything but it has taken a lot of strength also with this card this is the leo card so you could be dealing with the leo but it could be the overall energy of having this strength to get to this point to be able to move on to express your love to someone also, I, they always make me fo focus with this card in particular of this deck, how she's trying to wedge this lion's mouth open. So someone out there definitely needs to speak up and speak out kind of thing and express themselves. And I feel that it is with this cup of love. It is in regards to um, offering this bright future that you have been wishing for, that you've been manifesting with your thoughts feeling definitely. Okay. So underneath the seven of swords, you have the six of pentacles. So for this card, I've gotten a few messages, okay? I feel that um, since it's been so, so long in waiting to communicate or to explain yourself, that it's, it hasn't been a little bit, um, I feel like you need, how do I put this? I feel like you want to give more, okay? I feel like um, these these scales need to be balanced more and that you want to start giving more to this person is exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, so 
under I did clarify the six of pentacles and you have the nine of pentacles here so whoever this person is okay whoever is going to be almost like a sneak attack don't know that it's coming at them kind of feeling with the tower here is that this person has been waiting as well okay they look up to this bird as to say when it, I, I know my ships are coming in kind of feeling. I know this is going to happen to me. I'm at the nine. I'm holding on to my, my pentacles here, which is my love, my happiness. I know it's coming in. I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, definitely. And I feel that once you give um, this, this give and take kind of thing with this communication, with this love, it's going to cause balance into your life. This person balances you out, feeling, definitely. And this is all divinely guided. Every single piece of it, I'm sorry, is divinely guided. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is that you put your hard work in. You're ready. You're ready to grab those pentacles, your happiness, your love, and you're moving on kind of feeling, definitely. You're definitely moving on with this person. Your true love feeling, definitely. Okay, so I need to pull a card for you guys. I always seem to be forgetting to pull cards for people. So from the Doreen Virtue, uh, Healing with the Angels card. And let's see what they have. This one. Oh, you got two. Problem resolved. Okay. And self-reliance. Okay. So I feel that you are confident with the, with yourself right now in your decision in making this choice with offering this cup of love and that everything is going to be resolved. There's going to be more of a give and take in this relationship. She's going to or he's going to be happy to have you back into your life again. The butterfly signifies new beginnings. So that's what I feel with this. Everything is going to be okay. And you are going to be very happy. And you can thank your thoughts because once you think things, it, you create with your, you manifest with your thoughts. Okay, Gemini. So I hope this helps. If you're interested in a private reading, please email me uh, below. All the information is down below. You guys have a great week. Thanks again for such the great support that I had last week. Here's hoping for another great week. You guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.